Okay, in this video, I would like to teach you about a tool that we use to understand forces and analyze a situation. Um, and that tool is called a free body diagram, or FBD for short. Um, sometimes people also call these force diagrams. Um, and so essentially what you want to do to draw a free body diagram is follow these steps. Okay, so first you draw um, the title for the object. So um, if it's a ball, just write that it's a ball. If it's the earth, write that it's the earth. If it's a person, just name it as a person. Okay, um, and then you draw the object as a dot. Um, we don't want to include any extra information about the shape of the object or anything like that. If it's a box, draw a dot. If it's a person, draw a dot. Um, and then we want to come up with each force that's on the object. So draw each force that is exerted on the object. Okay, we do not want to consider any uh, forces that are exerted by the object, only forces that are exerted on the object. Um, we want the forces to start on the dot. Um, they don't want, we don't want them to go towards the dot ever, always going away from the dot. Um, and then you need to label each force with the type, the on, and the by. Okay, because all of the forces are on the same object, the ons should all be the same. That's a really easy way to check if you have made a mistake. Um, you need to include the on and by for every object. Um, and then you also want to make sure that you're um, careful about the magnitudes and directions. Okay, so this probably sounds like a lot. Um, I'm going to show you a couple examples, and I think you'll see that there isn't that much to this. Um, so for the first one, I'm going to draw just a falling ball. Okay, so here's the title. Here is the dot that represents the ball. And then for a ball that's falling, the only force on it is gravity. Okay, so we're going to have a gravitational force. It's downwards like this. Its type is gravitational. It's on the ball, and it's by Earth. Okay, um, that's it. That's the free body diagram for a falling ball. Let's do another one. So let's say that there's a book sitting on a table. And this is the free body diagram for that book. All right, well, again, I'll draw a dot that represents the book. Okay, the book has a weight. There is a gravitational force on the book. So I'm going to draw it. The gravitational force is downwards. Type is gravitational on the book by the Earth. Okay, but that's not the only force on the book this time. Um, if the only force were gravity, the book would be falling. But it's not falling, it's resting on a table. So if the book is at rest, it has to have zero net force. There has to be some upwards force that's canceling that force. Well, what kind of force could it be? It's not going to be a gravitational force upwards. It's not going to be a tension or a friction. So really the only choice that makes any sense is a normal force. What is exerting the normal force upwards? Well, in this case, it's the table. If you took the table away, the book would fall. So um, the table is pushing upwards on the book. Okay, so normal force on the book by the table. Um, and notice I drew the forces the same size because I know that the book is at rest, so it must have no acceleration. Um, sometimes people get really confused and think that the normal force and gravitational force are a Newton's third law pair. They're not. So we could come up with a Newton's third law pair um, for each of these. Um, this is not part of the free body diagram, but I think it's instructive to do anyway. So the Newton's third law pairs for these two forces, well, the Newton's third law pair for the normal force on the book by the table is the normal force on the table by the book. Okay, so if the book were really, really heavy, perhaps it would break the table. Um, that makes sense because the book is exerting a force on the table. Okay, um, another one. Uh, is the gravitational force. So gravity is pulling the book downwards. Well, um, the book is also exerting a gravitational force on the Earth by the book. So those are the in three L pairs for the forces that we have. Um, this one corresponds to that one, and that one corresponds to that one. Okay, so um, even though the normal force on the book and the gravitational force on the book happen to be equal and opposite, that's because of Newton's second law, not because of Newton's third law.